We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point... I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... <laughs> it was Celeste, and she was hurt. <laughs> Makoto! C Celeste! What happened? I was... stupid. I got... attacked. Attacked? By who? I am... not sure. Some sort of strange man. A strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me, with the hammer on the ground there.
What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. Makoto! Celeste! I found Sakura. S Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Uh, strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over, but I knew it was about to end. So I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around on the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I decided to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Then that was about an hour ago. Right when we called a meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness. Which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. So you were willing to throw away all your pride? It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste! What do you mean, a serious problem? When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. Hifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. You mean... Hifumi was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste. Did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I showed you. Show us? This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Seriously? Let's see it! I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Uh-huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a... Robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged a Fumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is much I don't understand, but the point is, 
Someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. This is bad. We have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? When they left the rec room, they headed left. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. And then he must be down there, right? The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you two. What's going on? What's all the fuss? Yeah! You playing a game or something? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hofumi? Nope, nope! Sure haven't! Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I've heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together! No, you're just stalking me. Uh, anyway, can you guys help us look for them? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Kifumi! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Hmm. Did you hear something? Maybe. I think it came from the library. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library? It hurts. It hurts. We found Ufumi, seriously injured. Uh, are you okay? I'm glad to see you're still alive. It's super bad though. Look at all the blood. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What are you talking about? Th that guy was... Robo Justice. This Robo Justice you are referring to is... this, is it not? Wha what the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacks Celeste and Afumi. Isn't that right, Afumi? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. Robo Justice. <laughs> this just keeps getting stranger. It's a hammer. Just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is. Justice Hammer 2? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> it's him! <laughs> a Robin of Justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special motives does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? No! <laughs>
Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. You're right, let's go. Eh. Thanks, everyone. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. How you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kinda dizzy, though. Perhaps you should rest here a while. Yeah, good idea. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Indeed, before another victim appears, the Justice Hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costumed man attacked me. That must be what I witnessed around 7 this morning. After that, he dragged me into the library and whack! Down came the hammer! That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. At around 7.30 in other words. We would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. Why do you know that? Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking! Anyway, so that means Byakuya and Toka were together at the time. Meaning they also have alibis. Then the only ones who don't have alibis when Celeste and Hafumi were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on! Kyoko's with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Fumi were attacked, so... I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible! Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Save this discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Yeah, if we don't hurry there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. Understood. Take care of yourself. Okay. Let's go. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. So? What are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. <laughs> What's wrong? 
I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor, then? You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot toward the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Okay, but what should we yell? Anything! It doesn't matter! Then... is... Ah! Okay? Ah! Or do ya! Or whatever you want! Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> do ya? I've never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go! Hey, Mr. Robot! Where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Over here, everyone! Everyone who had heard the scream had come running. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him! The strange costumed man! He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go! <sighs> what is it now? Hachoo! Huh? Whoa, it's really true! Doesn't matter right now. Yeah! Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been. Hafumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What about the suspect? We've gone to all this trouble to capture him, right? Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well then. Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Byakuya. We'll handle it. Just take care of Ifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. He's in the nurse's office! Let's go! We stormed into the nurse's office, and what greeted us was... A world of dripping crimson. Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all this red was... H Hafumi? It, it looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. Are you? He's not really dead, is he? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. 
What the? That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It must mean Hifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that, and you're finished. Then the killer! There can be no doubt. The suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But... wait! You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall? So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they... like... teleported or something, right? We can figure out that last part later. Right now, we have to tell the others. Y you're right. Then, shall we go? Hina, snap out of it. Aww. Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. I'm not sure I can move right now. Uh, I'm feeling kinda... This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him! The strange costumed man! He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down the hallway and disappeared. He ran off, going further down the hallway. Way into the back. Off of the hallway? As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence... Is it coming from over there? In the back? I leapt through the doorway. And when I did, I found... Another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka. Dead. Fresh, 
がいなくて泣いたいのにただ強くなりたいと願ってたそのために必要な勇気を探し求めていた残酷な運命が定まってるとしてそれがいつの日か僕の前に現れるとしてただ一瞬この一瞬息ができるなら Wow, that was even more shocking than the cliffhanger to the mid season finale of Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Speaking of entertainment, if you'd like to see more videos, here's a couple on screen right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work on my latest fanfic. <laughs>